Very well, but not quite well enough. But don't forget to be with us next week. Until then, on behalf of Andy Ross and Bruce Hamill, it's goodbye. Thank you for being with us. Happy times and particularly happy dancing. Dancing semi final will be shown in three weeks' time. Next week, we shall have the World Professional Latin American Championships from the Royal Albert Hall on Tuesday night at 11 o'clock. Now, before our next programme for this Wednesday night, over to the newsroom for a news report from Sue Lawley. At least three people are believed to have been killed and more than 25 injured at an, in, a, in, a, in an explosion at a remote water treatment works in Lancashire tonight. People are still trapped in underground tunnels of the works at a pumping station on the River Wire near Lancaster. We've just had this report from Martin Henfield, who's at the scene. The accident happened around 7.30 when a party of local councillors were being conducted around a water pumping station by water board officials. An explosion thought to be caused by gas, occurred somewhere underground, and about 40 people in the party were trapped. 33 have been rescued, some seriously injured, and were taken to Royal Lancaster Infirmary. Several people are thought to be dead. It's not known if they're councillors or water board officials, and the search is still going on for people who might be trapped in a tunnel which runs six or seven miles between the village of Abbeystead and nearby Garstang. The spot is remote, and the search will go on all night. Heavy lifting gear has been brought in to move rubble from the site. There'll be more news on the explosion in Newsnight at 5 to 11 on BBC Two, and I'll be back here on one just after half past 11. This is BBC One. And now James Garner stars as Jim Rockford in The Gear Jammers, beginning a two part story from The Rockford Files. <laughs> The second part of this story will be next Wednesday at 5 past 11. And now on BBC One, the news headlines from Sue Lawley. Good evening. At least four people are known to have been killed and more than 30 injured in an explosion at a remote pumping station near Langley. Sure, you have 